months passed, I heard or saw nothing from Izmi or his hooligans. We started to relax and go about our everyday lives again. Mie, order lunch. Who's going to attend the Grand Championship this year? The Battle of the Champions was approaching, and my senior students were deciding who was going and what divisions they were going to enter. That's a good idea. We have to ask the master. I want to see you do karate. You're always thinking about Sangsu, and you're never thinking about me. Why do you always bother me when I'm talking to Sangsu? Mm, uh, stop, you guy. I have to go to the master. The Battle of the Champions was the largest and most prestigious martial arts tournament in the area. Competitors from all over the world came to this event. My students and I were determined to have a good showing, and we were doing quite well. It was a good day for us. Unfortunately, I was completely unaware of what my most senior student, Jun Tae, was doing. He had met with Izmi and made a deal to betray me in hopes of acquiring the Jewel of Harang for himself. What Izmi had promised Jun Tae in return, I don't know. I hope it was something well worth it for him to betray his teacher. It was Sung Su's time. Yeah. <laughs> 
He was excellent in the forms division. Surpassing his Harangdo brother by a close margin. He was also in the finals in the sparring division. Sang Su and Jun Tae. I really didn't care who won. They were both my students and I was very proud. Looking back at that match, I should have seen the warning signs about Jun Tae. Jealousy, anger and resentment towards Sang Su and towards me were starting to consume him. It was obvious at the end of the match, but I didn't see it then. A burning envy fueled Jun Tae, and he came up with a simple plan. He convinced the poor, naive Ki Chu to bring him the bag that contained the jewel. Later that night, Ki Chu carried out his mission. Unfortunately for Jun Tae and poor naive Ki Chul, Why is Jun Tae wants this small bag? They were not aware of the power of the jewel. Hmm. Just a black rock. found Ki Chul sitting on the floor, blinded by the light of the jewel. I can see, I can see. He told me everything. She took it. The next day, I summoned everyone to headquarters. No one knew why or what had happened the night before, but the mood was very tense and somber. I told Sang Su to get me two swords. Called up Jun Tae. I tossed the bag at him. I told him he could have it. He could walk away and give it to his new master, Ismi, if he could beat me. The 
more I looked at him, the angrier I got. I grabbed my sword and aimed for his neck. I couldn't do it. And then 